Yo, it's your boy Gabe with this Willis Fan TV. Back at you with another video. Hey, man, once again, thank y'all for all the new subscribers. Uh, keep going, keep running up the videos, man. Um, so, on this video, like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into it. All right, so bang. First round, uh, well, not first round, first day of OTAs was yesterday. We got some great news about Kyle Fuller. Now we got some OTA action on top of that, right? So, uh, you know, the Ravens doing their thing on Twitter. They, they're releasing little video clips here and there. Go check them out if you haven't seen them. Some stuff on Instagram as well, right? But I wanted to more talk about who was there, who was not, things like that. Now, obviously, I don't know every single player that was there. I don't, every, I don't know every single player that wasn't there. But just from looking at the videos and stuff like that, just going to give a little report about just what I saw looking through social media. That's it. Okay, so my first list is expected. Like, who was expected to be there and they showed up? Rashad Bateman, Dalen Hayes, James Prochet, Patrick Queen. Those are some guys I saw. I'm also Josh Mines. So, guys that, you know, you expect to be there. Um, some young guys. Um, obviously, Josh Mines is an older guy, but, you know, he's the leader on the team. Expect to be there. Cool. Um, but the young guys, you know, they're getting better. All reps are good reps for them. Um, I saw Adafi Owe, too. So, another guy I expected to be there. So, great. And he was. Um, so that's good, man. Seeing the young guys there competing, doing their thing, that's great. Um, but it's not a shock that they was there. It, yeah, it's voluntary, but when you're in your second year, third year, you kind of really expect it to be there unless you big time superstar, right? Okay. So next list is good to see some guys that maybe I didn't think would be there, but I'm glad to see that that, that they were there. All pro Mark Andrews, Brent Urban, Mike Davis, Marlon Humphrey. So, Mark Andrews, I'm excited to see him there because this, this is all pro Mark, man. You know, maybe best tight end in the game, but he's out here working in May uh, back at the castle. So, that's good to see. He's committed, ready to start the season. Um, like I said, it's completely voluntary. So, if, even if you're not there, it doesn't mean you're not committed to the team. But it's good to see that Mark Andrews was there. Brent Urban, Mike Davis, two guys who just recently signed. So, good to see them there uh, picking up the defense, picking up the offense in Mike Davis's case. And uh, just getting reps in with the guys, excited to be in the building and excited to work. So that was good to see. Uh, Marlon Humphrey. Now, Marlon Humphrey is excited to see for a couple of reasons. It's not a surprise that he was there because he's been doing the Studio 44 thing with the Ravens. So obviously he's had access to the building and stuff like that. Because if you look at the, the background, the background is literally where the media does their stuff at. So obviously he's been in here, had access to the building. So I'm not surprised he's here for OTAs. It's not a surprise. The good part is that, obviously, he ended his season with an injury last year. So, he's already back on the field. Um, I believe he tore a pec muscle or something like that. So, he was on the field, you know, catching passes, going through DB drills and things like that from the highlights uh, that I saw. Um, so, that's good to see. So, good to see Marlon Humphreys out there. Another all-pro player. Another pro bowler out there. So, good to see Marlon. All right. Interesting. There's only one player on this list. Chuck Clark. Um, Chuck Clark's interesting to see. Not that I thought he would hold out or wouldn't be there, but maybe, I don't know. Maybe I did think he might not show up because there's been rumors of obviously trade Chuck, trade uh, talk around Chuck Clark's name. Um, there's also been Jeff Sarebeck who put a tweet out, uh, I believe maybe two days ago now, saying that the Ravens had tried to trade Chuck Clark to several teams or had discussions with several teams about Chuck Clark. Um, obviously, those discussions didn't lead to an actual trade. Uh, my my guess was it had to be probably a mid round pick or a young wide receiver or maybe a combination of both. We saw names like uh, Darius Slayton thrown out there, Jalen Rager thrown out there, but I'm gonna get my take on Chuck Clark really quickly in this video. He's a player that has been, I would say, underrated and overrated by the Ravens fan base. Right? He's not a franchise change in safety. But he's not the worst defender on this defense. Like I've seen some people talk about Chuck Clark. He is, he's a steady Eddie. He's going to get the job done. He's not spectacular. He's not flashy. He just does what Chuck Clark does. He just does what Chuck Clark does. That's it. I believe he was miscast last year. He's not a free safety. Nowhere near close to a free safety. He's a strong safety, box safety. He's an intelligent player. He knows where he needs to be. He has physical limitations. That's why he can't cover slot receivers. He probably can't cover some tight ends. And he, like I said, he can't play center field. But Chuck Clark on this team, I believe he has a role to play. Would I trade Chuck Clark for a fourth round pick that can help the Ravens until next year or maybe even two years if he's any good? No. 
Would I trade Chuck Clark for Darius Slayton, Jalen Rager? No, I probably wouldn't because I'm going to tell you why. We trade Chuck Clark for one of those two receivers, right? I just say it's those guys. One, Ravens are going to be disappointed when that guy gets here and doesn't produce his. Maybe he drops passes. Maybe he's not that good, right? Darius Slayton's up and down. Jalen Rager has been proven just to not be good. Secondly, maybe we get even angry at the fact that Greg Roman does not, doesn't even look the guy away because what do we say about Greg Roman and the guys that we have here? They just need the chance to play. So now they're going to bring in a guy from a team who wanted to get rid of him and Greg Roman's going to give that guy a chance to play? Come on. I just don't see it. Okay? So that's my spill on Chuck Clark. I'm not trading Chuck Clark unless the deal really makes sense. And EDC even said, if you look at my video about him, EDC on the Lounge podcast, he says, I don't I don't make trades unless I win the trade, which is fine. To me, Jaylen, trading Chuck Clark for a fourth-round pick, fifth-round pick, uh, Jalen Rager, Darius Slayton is not a win. It's a sideways move. I don't I don't see much improvement does for Ravens in their hopes of winning a championship this season. Okay? All right. Last but not least, not there. We got to talk about him, man. Number eight, Lamar Jackson. All right. The biggest question is, do I care? No. Um, it's OTAs. It's completely voluntary. Would I like to see Lamar Jackson there? Yes. So there's two different it's two different answers right there. Do I care that he's not there? No, but I like to see him there. Yes. He's remained firm and committed that he wants to be with the Ravens. He even put out a tweet when the Ravens had showed up. Um, it was a video of Rashad Bateman in his new number seven, which looks great, by the way. Um, he tweeted out, I can't wait to get back. That's all, that's all I need to hear. Now, we need to see. We would love to see Lamar in Baltimore, in Owens Mills, in the castle, uh, practicing with his teammates. But right now, they're in helmets, jerseys, and sweatpants. It's not the biggest deal in the world. He's still working out. He's still training in Miami or uh, California, wherever he is currently. He's still training. So, um, but that's the news. We got to talk about the fact that Lamar Jackson is not there. That, that's just honest. We have to. We can't We can't ignore the fact that he's not in training. Not training camp, I'm sorry. That he's not in OTAs right now. Um, but it's not the biggest deal in the world. I still believe a deal will be reached next year for Lamar Jackson. But as it currently stands, he's not practicing with the team. Um, the meet now, the mass media might make a big story out of it. I'm not going to make a big story out of it. Um, so that's what we saw from the first day of Raven OTAs. Uh, they got two more days, so they got today, they got tomorrow, and then they take a break and then they come back sometime next week. Uh, I think it's between the June 1st and June 3rd for the next round. Maybe he'll be there, maybe he won't. Um, so yeah, man, so tell me, tell me what you guys want to see from these OTA videos that's dropping. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm seeing some catches. I'm seeing some one-on-one defense. I, I, I like what I'm seeing from it. Uh, but, you know, that's just me being hyped as a fan. Anyway, so it's your boy Gabriel. Just look at Fan TV. I'm out.